Hey guys, it's me, Panzo6, and welcome to the Game Feed. Today, I just got two things to talk about. It's going to be a short video, but it's two really, really exciting things. And the first thing is Titanfall 2 got announced today. Uh, there was a little bit of a teaser trailer, but basically shown uh, this little escape pod and one of the mechs coming down by it and an ominous voice in the background saying, will you blah, 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 do something awesome. And there's a big sword. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Titanfall, Titanfall came out for the Xbox One and PC. That was about a year ago. Um, it's a multiplayer online shooter that tried to incorporate a story mode uh, within the multiplayer, which really didn't work that well. But the game itself, as a multiplayer, if you're playing Attrition or any other mode outside of the campaign, it's fantastic. It has some of the best fluence, uh, parkour movement sets that uh, are now getting borrowed from bigger games such as Halo 5 and uh, Black Ops uh, 3 where you can do the wall runs and stuff but the whole thing about it is the fact that after you um, get so much so many kills uh, you can summon a Titan which Titan there's a several different classes there they're the big mechs and you would think if you hopped in one of these machines that it'll be super slow, but no, it, uh, Respawn Entertainment figured out a way to make the, <laughs> the mechs feel like, you know, your ground troops. It's the same type of controls, it's all fast-paced, there's nothing slow about it, um, and it's just really fun. It's, it, you can have some of the craziest skirmishes, uh, or some of the craziest situations when playing Titanfall, and it does kind of play sort of like a MOBA in a way, somewhat. You have your minions, which uh, are AI-controlled um, bots, basically, and you have your pilots, which are controlled by regular people. Now, you know, a lot of people did want a single-player component, which I kind of wish that, you know, would have happened, because Titanfall, as right now, um, there's a little bit of a community, not much, um... Usually, shooters like that um, don't tend to have a lasting um, <coughs> lasting on the market, per se. But I'm hoping with Titanfall 2, if they include a single-player component and also have, uh, since they're going to go multi-plat with this title, um, the game will continue uh, working out. And I hope they don't end support with the first Titanfall. So what happened, they had the season pass, and... Later on, they just end up giving every single map pack away because of the way it divided up the community, which I think that's really cool. Uh, the only thing I hope they don't do, which uh, I don't think they did in the first Titanfall, I haven't played it in a while, um, is add microtransactions. That's something I do not want to see, but uh, it is an EA game, and we are living in the year 2016 where DLC and microtransactions happen. It's just normal. But, but, it still seems like it's promising. Uh, it should be running on a new engine, uh, hopefully. Uh, there's no details yet on it, but, it, you know, I did see the sword. So, <laughs> giant robots, giant freaking swords, I'm all in. I'm all in. Uh, it kind of looks like the Buster Sword from Final Fantasy VII that Cloud used to use. Um, but, enough of Titanfall. Uh, last night, during the Fear of, Wa Fear of the Walking Dead... Um, there was a trailer that was teased earlier, earlier this week from The Coalition, which is the new studio that is working on the Gears of War series. Now, we've seen uh, some gameplay of Gears of War 4 back, I think it was this past E3, and The Coalition uh, released um, <coughs> Gears of War, the original and ultimate definitive edition of it, uh, with beefed up graphics and... Um, added some stuff, extra stuff into it, and it's really, really good. Uh, the good thing about it is uh, Rod Ferguson's on board, um, so he has been with, uh, worked on Gears of War for the longest time, and he promised the Coalition's going to take super, super care of Gears of War, and last night we saw the, the first teaser trailer, which is about a minute long, and it featured uh, Marcus Phoenix's son, uh, so it went back and forth, had Marcus Phoenix and his wife and his son, then it kept on going back and forth, like, showing, I think his name's J.D. Phoenix, I think. Um, 
but it shows him older. It's supposed to take place 20 years after the events of Gears of War 3 uh, with a newer enemy. I don't know if it's going to be the Locust or something else, but um, you can definitely check that out. Uh, they're going to try... Uh, Coalition is trying to go with a kind of a survival horror-ish uh, vibe, kind of like the first one had, um, which was kind of scary somewhat. Uh, and the marketing saying uh, the Nightmare Reborn, so... But you guys can check out. I have uh, a little bit of video footage of it. On, I'm playing it in the background here. Um, but yeah, definitely excited about Gears of War um, for... I love the whole series, even um, our, the last one. What was it? Gears of War... Um, I forget what it's called. It was... It was made by the people uh, that made Bulletstorm. Um, but yeah, it's uh, definitely something to look forward to. Um, I am excited about Titanfall 2 just to get back into mechs and start playing attrition again. And I'm just I'm just hoping Respawn pulls off a awesome, at least decent story. Um, now the guys on Respawn are, you know, the guys that originally worked on Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, so... There's some quality there. There's some quality. You can definitely feel... Titanfall does kind of feel like Call of Duty. And now Call of Duty kind of feels like Titanfall. But, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Also, if you haven't checked it out, I am working on this new project. It's for a shop in my town that also caters to people that has problems with depression, anxiety, or been having thoughts of suicide. This is a gaming store. It also has card games like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Force of Will, and others, as well as video game tournaments and board game, board game tournaments. We'll also be trying to get special guests and tournaments and pay-per-views, stuff like that. If we can get the shop started, that'd be great. Um, you guys can check it out at www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Now, if you guys are alarmed... Uh, this channel is no longer called Outright Gaming. It is now called Bits and Pieces. Same as the Twitch channel. I made that change last night. So just in case you're wondering, who the hell is Bits and Pieces? Well, you now know. Um, Bits and Pieces come together. It's pretty much kind of like a melting pot. Every single one of us gamers are different. But if we put us all together, we're all going to be awesome and have fun. So uh, check that out, please. And um, if you donate, thank you so much. And... As always, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I love you guys, and you guys have a wonderful day.